We're here this evening with J.R. Rinaldi, the super troubleshooter for Mayor Tom Burnaby. And uh, Star County Political Report has been uh, in conversation uh, with uh, J.R. about the efforts to clean up the neighborhoods of the city of Canton. And uh, got plenty of text material, uh, but I want to get J.R. on film and just uh, give uh, the viewers of this uh, particular video a thumbnail sketch of uh, where you started, what you've been doing, and how you think it's going to end up. Well, first and foremost, you're only as good as the people that you surround yourself with. So I'm no super, super troubleshooter. Uh, we have a great staff, and that's how all this is coming together now. We've hired some great people. Council, of course, was gracious enough to give us the money to expand our horizons with code officers and clerks and things like that. But a year ago, we were harvesting homes. We were evaluating homes to tear down, and uh, we probably populated about 450 or more. And, uh, and the land bank went through and processed them. So we are 50 houses in of probably 300 houses or so that we are tearing down in the NIP3 program. So a year ago, we were doing the work, harvesting them, identifying them. Now the land bank is releasing them once they go through the ju judicial foreclosure processes and things like that for tax delinquency. But our goal is to do at least 300. If we can do more, that's gonna be great for the city. But the other thing that has been great about all this is that the code enforcement piece. We have ramped up neighborhood code enforcement. A year ago, the code department did 1,588 visits. And as of this week, we're at 7,000 code visits for 2017 with our average that may hit 11,000 code visits for the whole year. So when you look at what we did prior to council's investment, they've invested in the building department, we're making changes and tweaking and as we see our weaknesses come out. So a lot of great things are happening. We're tearing down old nasty houses, we're cleaning up things, uh, new roofs are going on, people are siding their homes, they're painting their homes, they're reaching out to us for help we're able to give them help when we can or we'll give them guide, guidance on some you know some situational things but it's a whole investment of Canton and it really started right here in City Hall with Council. One matter I need you to clear up for me there is a Stark County uh, Land Realization uh, Corporation which we call the Land Bank. Canton has its own entity right? Uh, the yes and no. That was before my time, so I'm not okay. quite sure of, of its existence. So the main game is the Stark County uh, effort? Yeah, the, the Regional Planning Commission, Stark County Land Bank. That's uh, when I did all the paperwork a year ago. They're the governing body for OFA, which is out of Columbus, the Ohio Housing Finance Agency. Right. But the but OFA runs the NIP3 program. So uh, the, the land bank takes all our work. They process it. They accept it. Move it to OFA. They process it through, and then we do all that. And the end result is once they accept it, get it into their names, go through uh, the, the judicial uh, foreclosure process and all that. We get it, I go out, we evaluate it. We have people that clean them out. We have people that we test them for asbestos. Some homes are up over twenty-five dollars to $30,000 to tear down because of the asbestos removal. So there's a huge fluctuation in all this, but the one constant thing is it's the hard work that our staff is performing. Everybody in the city, we've increased it. You can feel it out on the streets. You can drive down through any area and see new roofs, new siding, people taking pride in their home. And the mayor believes that people that take care of their homes tend to commit less crimes. Uh, now, uh, you've been encouraged, I understand, in our prior conversation with the participation of the neighborhood associations? Yes, uh, one of the first things the mayor did is uh, that he, he invited me to the, the, the mayor's commission and uh, Marilyn Thomas Jones, you know, help, helps chair that. And then there's uh, elected people throughout the groups. So they have uh, elections and they nominate people. So there's about eight to 10 people of the various neighborhood groups throughout the city. 
and uh, and we have our quarterly meetings and whatnot. And I know a year ago when we first started, there was a lot of emphasis on code, and this isn't getting done, that's not getting done, and the increased enforcement now. And the great thing is those meetings have went from like a code enforcement meeting to where now we're talking about sidewalks. We're talking about uh, Dick Drake, the arborist, came in and talked to him about you know trees in the devil strips. If they need help with uh, pruning some trees around the neighborhood, he'll come speak to their groups. Uh, Jason Reese from the law department will come and speak about some things. So it's not so much we're beating a dead horse on, you know, we need to fix these homes. Well, we are fixing the homes. So the conversation has made a great twist about the good things that we can do in the city. And a lot of that is because we're communicating like no other time. Is this a part of uh, Canton uh, working on implementing the Canton Comprehensive Plan? Well, I think those are huge things that there's a benchmark that we can work from. Some areas, some houses may need just painted to keep them from tipping. Other ones, you got to stabilize them because they're in bad shape, let's be honest. 30 years of doing not much is caught up with us. But the great thing is, is we have the roadmap of where we need to work. And the, and the comprehensive plan has laid that groundwork for us. But also, uh, the neighborhood groups will go out and walk with them. We'll go out doing neighborhood cleanups now. Uh, the very first one we did in Ward 1 down around the shore area, we were cleaning up trash, we were doing this. I caught people doing a roof on Sunday without a permit, so we got them on that one. But then we were writing up high grass, so there's just a lot of involvement, and that's what's gonna move this needle. And honestly, Canton's on the move, even today with Malone's groundbreaking. Another huge project for the community. So people say we're dying, not buying it. I see it each and every day, Canton's on the move. And it really started with the investment coming from council to where we are a year later. Well, thank you, J.R. Rinaldi, a very key leadership figure in uh, Canton City Government as Canton works hard to recover from the difficult days.